Hey, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a very simple electromagnet at home. All right, you need very few items and they're all right here for you. Um, some paper clips to test it out. You need some kind of battery, a nail, and you're going to need some copper wire and that is it. So let's go ahead and talk first about what an electromagnet is. So an electromagnet is really just a temporary magnet. In other words, we can turn this on and off. Um, now it's just going to be a solenoid wrapped around an iron bar. Um, now you may think, what is a solenoid, right? Um, so a solenoid is just a coil of wire with an electric current. Now let me show you how this happens with our setup. We're going to start with an iron core, which in this case, we're just going to use a common nail um, and we're going to loop this around with some copper wire and we're going to connect it to the other end of the battery terminal. Now, as soon as you do this, you're going to allow that electricity to flow. That current's going to flow through that wire. And when it does, it's going to create or induce a magnetic field around it like this. Okay. Now, once it's um, all created, we can do anything you normally can with a regular magnet, such as pick up paper clips and things like that. Now, what's really cool about an electromagnet is we can turn it off. As soon as we disconnect it from the battery, the electric current will stop flowing, which means it stops inducing our magnetic field and it is no longer an electromagnet. Then it's just some, uh, it's just a nail with some wire and a battery, right? It's no longer a magnet at all. So watch this video and see how I make it, guys. All right, an electromagnet is really easy to make. Take your copper wire, leave a couple inches extra at the end, loop that or coil it around your iron core, which in this case is our nail. Continue it all the way to the end. Again, leave a couple inches free on the other end while making your cut in that copper, and then connect it to each terminal of the battery so that we can have that electricity flow and we can go ahead and start our magnetic field. So if you saw in the video, it didn't pick up any paper clips, right? And that was just because I barely did any turns of the coil. So there was hardly any loops on our electromagnet. We're definitely gonna need more loops in order to strengthen the magnetism that we're inducing in our electromagnet. So the question that we're asking now is what happens when we increase the number of coils? We're trying to pick up those paper clips. Let's see if we can do it in our next attempt. Okay, we're going to make this electromagnet the same way as we did the last one. Take our copper wire, leave a couple inches at the end, loop this one around, except we're going to make lots of loops. Notice I'm pushing it back so they're all kind of squinched together and I'm continuing that pattern all the way to the end. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a second loop on top of the first one, just so I have a whole lot of coils on this nail in order to test it. At the end, I'm making sure that I have enough to connect to my battery and let's go ahead and test this one out. All right, so we're going to take our electromagnet that we made and we're going to actually plug it into the battery to send that electrocurrent through it so that we can induce our magnetic field and make it an actual electromagnet that's turned on. You can see that it does actually pick up those paper clips now, so we have succeeded. Once you unplug it, you can see that it no longer will pick up paper clips because it is turned off. All right, so we definitely answered our question about what happens when we increase the number of coils. We increase the strength of our electromagnet because we're increasing the strength of our magnetism that we're creating. So what happens when we increase the voltage, right? If we're increasing the voltage, we're just essentially adding another battery to it or a stronger battery. Um, in this case, it would look something like this, right? Your setup. Um, now, what would really happen is we would just increase our magnetism. So it's kind of the same as increasing the amount of coils that you're putting around it. If you don't have enough copper wire to do that, you can just replace that with an extra battery instead, and you'll end up with pretty much the same results depending on a couple variables, right? But it's definitely gonna strengthen your electromagnet regardless. So I did one more experiment just for funny guys. I used a thicker gauged um, copper wire with a little bit less loops than our last one, just to see if we would have the same amount of paper clips picked up or not. So check it out. So take a look at how thick this copper wire is that I put. And notice I only put one layer of those coils all the way down our iron core nail. Now, if I plug it into the battery, of course, we have that electric current, which makes our magnetic field appear and we can pick up those paper clips. Notice there's three that get picked up right away. If I try it without being plugged in, we have lost the magnetism. All right. So I hope this video helped you learn a lot about electromagnets, what they are and how to make them. 
but a word of the wise for lab safety. Um, please do not ever leave your wires plugged into your battery. That will produce a lot of thermal energy or heat, right? Um, from that electro current flowing and that can produce um, enough heat to burn you or even start a fire. So please make sure you disconnect those wires every time you're done using them and always do this with an adult around. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye everybody.